possible voter registration fraud involving the campaign to legalize pot in Ohio. An investigation is underway in Hamilton and Warren counties right now. WLWT News Science John London joining us from the newsroom with the very latest and more on this story, John. Well, some might say shades of Louisiana or Chicago from decades past. Others see it as simply part of the weeding out process, if you will. It has election leaders concerned enough to launch investigations, not knowing if we're talking dozens of registrations or more widespread. Just 24 hours ago on UC's campus. You could register either as a student here or at your parents' address. Responsible Ohio was signing up students as part of its pro pot push. Sophomore Joanna Avalis registered just under the wire. But like I haven't researched much about it, so I'm not quite sure. There's suddenly more to be unsure of. There's something wrong here. Something doesn't smell right to staff at Election Central. Names on registration cards include people who are locked up in the pen, people who confirm the signatures are not theirs, people who are no longer breathing. Eleven people whose signatures appeared on the petition but whom we know to be deceased. An investigation of suspicious and irregular registrations is underway. The head of Responsible Ohio tells us its policy on fraud is zero tolerance. But the circulator has no way of knowing John Doe from John London. If, you, if John London signs that voter registration and files it, we are required by law to turn that in, regardless of if that person is John London or not. Hard to say how many have tried to register from the grave or the prison cell, but dozens out of 100,000 plus forms are being scrutinized. We have authorized our staff to issue subpoenas to um, the, some of the folks in leadership at the Strategy Network. TSN led the drive to get the legalized marijuana issue on the ballot. I'm not surprised because so much money is on the line. There's tremendous financial pressure on the campaign to get the signatures. As early voting got underway today, local election officials called the potential fraud troubling. Some new voters might want to add the controversy to their study sheet before marking their ballots this fall. I definitely research more about it and see from different sides the pros and the cons, who's against it, who's not. Whoever is eventually subpoenaed would appear at a special Hamilton County board meeting in two weeks. Warren County has turned over dozens of its questionable registrations to Prosecutor Dave Fornshell, who says he has never seen as many come under such a cloud. Cherie? John London, live in our newsroom. John, thank you. Hundreds of additional voter registrations are being reviewed right here in Hamilton County at the request of the elections director just to make sure they're not fraudulent.